today on Running to Him. For some in Jesus' day, even the dead's raising was not enough to believe, but others did. Today our lives are to reflect what Christ has done for us, so that some might believe. If you are joining us in going through the Gospel of John, today's reading is John 11, verses 1 through 46, and we will concentrate on verses 44 through 46. John 11, verse 44 through 46 says this, The man who had died came forth, bound hand and foot with wrappings, and his face was wrapped around with a cloth. Jesus said to them, Unbind him and let him go. Therefore many of the Jews who came to Mary and saw what he had done believed in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them the things which Jesus had done. If you asked many Christians to tell you the critical event in Christianity, they'd probably tell you one of three things, Christ's birth, Christ's death, or Christ's resurrection. Each of these events is an important event in any Christian's faith, but the critical event in Christianity is Christ's resurrection. Lazarus' resurrection would have come in the top four of any of the events in Christ's story. The power of death is the power of life, and whoever controls death controls life. Paul concedes this fact in 1 Corinthians 15, verses 12 through 19, when he writes, Now if Christ has preached that he has been raised from the dead, how do some of you among you say there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there is no resurrection of the dead, not even Christ has been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then our preaching is in vain. Your faith is also in vain. Moreover, we are often found to be false witnesses of God because we testified against God that he raised Christ, whom he did not raise, if in fact the dead are not raised. For if the dead are not raised, not even Christ has been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then your faith is worthless. You are still in your sins. Then those who have also fallen asleep in Christ have perished. If we have hoped in Christ in this life only, we are of all men most to be pitied. Now if we are to have life through Christ, then Christ must have the power over death. If he does not have this power, then we are still under the result of Adam's sin, and we all will die. See Genesis chapter 2, verses 16 and 17, and chapter 3, verse 19. Therefore, Lazarus' raising showed the people Christ's power over death, and as a result, he is the Messiah. We will see tomorrow that the Jewish leaders believe the same thing, but their response was to eliminate their problem rather than embrace the solution to human death. We sin, confess that sin, receive forgiveness, and then sin again. We continue to sin because we trust in ourselves rather than Christ's power. We talk a good Sunday school game, but we fail to live a Sunday lifestyle Monday through Saturday. Now I know that we are not to focus on objects such as crosses or icons, which are paintings. But maybe if we treasured a few things which remind us of who we are, we'd be a lot more successful in living that way. If our lives reflected Christ and we cared about how non-believers saw or didn't see Christ in us, we would be much more careful doing what we do. Our lives would reflect a difference from the lives of non-believers, and our examples would be much more appealing. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.